Welcome back everyone to another episode of the Crafty Crow Show. Today's video is something pretty special. It's a short restoration project. This is not going to be a hard restoration project, but I'm not as excited about the restoration project as much as I am what the item is. It's a rock hammer. Uh, this is actually a true temper number 20 PP rock hammer to be precise with it. Now the reason this hammer is special because my first, I'm calling him a super fan, my first super fan that the channel ever had, this was his. So I'll tell you a little bit about him. Let's get on into the video and get this restoration started. Okay, so as you can see, I showed you this side of it. And those initials are probably backwards in the camera, I'm not sure, but RB, he's got his initials carved into the handle on this. This was gave to me by his grandson, Corey Hill. And Corey just brought it to work the other day, asked me if I could restore it, because unfortunately, he's no longer with us. Uh, passed away not too awful long ago, and I was pretty sad to hear it. But this was his grandpa's, among tons of other stuff that hopefully we'll do more restorations in the future. But Corey wanted to know if I could redo this and give it something to hang up in his house, you know, restore it and uh, kind of a display piece and something to remind him of his grandpa. So about the man, this man's name was Roger Bowman. Uh, he worked for Arch Minerals for 40 plus years. And actually I found out at the shooting of this video, he worked at the Scotia mine when the mine disaster happened. Now you can look this up on YouTube. I might do a video way down the road on this because I barely know anything about this, but the Scotia mine disaster happened in March of 1976. And there were two explosions. The, the first one killed 15 men on the first day. Then two days later, there was another explosion that killed 11 more men. So this was one of the most tragic coal mine accidents in the nation's history. And this actually Things that come out of this, um, the Mine Safety and Health Administration, it changed their whole format, changed a whole bunch of laws and everything for mining to make things safer. But he actually survived that mine disaster. Now, I don't know the entire story on it. That's just, you know, what a little bit Corey told me, but I didn't know that. But the man, you know, why it's so exciting to me, the man loved watching my videos. Um, some of my early videos, I had lots of stuff under the carport and stuff there that was papaws that I hadn't got cleaned out. And Corey told me that he would sit and study the background of my videos to see all the stuff that was back there. And I always thought that was funny and I thought that was pretty cool. So he loved the outdoors. He loved getting out and doing stuff and he loved watching my videos. As you can see in the pictures, he was a fan. And it just, it just made my heart soar knowing that that man liked my videos. And he had cancer, he passed away, and I was real, you know, real sad and sorry to hear it. But um, I was real excited when Corey gave me this. This was something that he held in his hand, and I'm sure something he used in the mines. You know, they would, uh, I'm, I'm not really sure what he'd use it for. Probably to check uh, walls, check different things, make sure a rock wasn't going to fall on. This was probably a handy thing. And he made sure to put his initials on it. So what we're going to do, we're going to do, uh, a nice restoration but it's not going to take much the handles in great shape uh, we're going to clean the handle up a little bit trying to leave some patina definitely leave the initials on it and clean up the head but other than that this thing's in perfect shape it just needs a little tlc so with that background that history you know this video is kind of dedicated to him uh, mr bowman and hopefully we'll get some more of his things to restore for his family just to help keep his memory alive so let's get into the restoration, see how this thing turns out, and let's get this piece of family history back to Corey so him and his family can enjoy it for years to come.
and that's all there is to it. That was raw linseed oil, so I'm gonna let that sit. It takes hours and hours to dry, but that lets it soak deep in there. Uh, like I said, and put down in the bottom, light sanding, I didn't wanna take all that patina and um, all the scratches and dents and everything in the handle or the head on it. So all this was just kind of a light, get all the rust off, get a bunch of the dirt off, get this restored up back to looking good but still leave the history of it intact. So I wanna give a big thanks to Corey and his family for trusting me with this heirloom, for letting me restore it and get it back to where they can enjoy it and see it and remind them of the grandpa every time. And this video and having my hands on this, something that Mr. Bowman actually used, it means a lot to me too. Cause like I said, if there was a super fan for this channel, especially as small as it is, he was a super fan. He loved to sit and watch those videos and stuff. And that just always made me, made me happy when Corey told me that. So this one was for him. This is one of his tools. Like I said, hopefully there'll be plenty more down the road that I can help him get back restored for the family members and keep his memory alive. So hope y'all enjoy this little video. This is something, if you've got your own heirlooms, post down here in the comments what they might be. If you've ever thought about getting them done and don't be scared to come out here and do something like this. You're not gonna ruin it. You know, just be light, easy with it. Take your time with it. It'll be all right. But if not, leave me some comments. We can talk back and forth. Maybe I can walk you through some of it. So thank you all for stopping by. And remember, as the good Lord tells you, love one another. See you on the next video.